hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, today we will learn about um, the check management so in the last class we have uh, we have seen that the how to create the house bank and then how to uh, assign the house bank to the GL and vendor master and then create the invoice and then payment so when we make a payment we get the one clearing document number okay so but the thing is that right now we are talking about the check management how it will go to the vendor and how uh, you know they will uh, deposit it to the bank so what is that so in the sap we have a check management here uh, means let me just give you the brief thing about it. this check means in the sap here check and the check book means here it's a uh, check leaves means here a check lot okay so uh, what will uh, check lot okay so check means here check and check means here a check lot that we have to uh, check book here is a check lot okay so now the thing is that what is this how we will create that how we will organization uh, will you know uh, enter the checkbook number on what basis okay the, so in the simple thing is that we get the stationary information from the business organization get this uh, stationary uh, like checkbook created with the number and all we get from the bank okay and the same thing we will prepare uh, in the check info okay so same thing we will enter it uh, so whatever the number is there number range we enter it uh, as per the bank uh, uh, stationery whatever the checkbook we got as per that same thing we will enter it and this the same check leaves we will use to make a payment to the vendor okay so now uh, we will just um, i will just show you how to create the uh, check lot in the system okay so now uh, we will create the checkbook in our check lot in our system so to so the t code is fchi is the t code so let's go to our sap screen and we have this uh, yeah fchi so we are doing it for our rl12 company code and here click on change here uh, we can see that we have uh, already let me delete this one okay okay so now uh, so now what we'll do I cannot delete this one okay since I have already used it for other purpose so I will just create fresh checkbook check lot okay create a check lot so uh, this is my checkbook number one zero one I'm just naming it in the system and here I will just give the name number ranges for checkbook so six digit uh, from India uh, checkbook uh, number is there and maximum is 13 for outside bank and all so let's suppose we will create for six digit our check uh, leaf starting is from one zero four zero zero one zero zero two let's suppose our checkbook is for uh, gap for 500 okay this is my check lot first okay okay sorry check one is already there because i've used it for other purpose so i have just entered two so when you will create you can just write down one or two as per the sequence okay so now save this i will create another one check lot zero three and I will use here 500100 and same thing I will just enter here 5 till 5 save this okay so now here we have to give the number that once the series is finished 1002 we have to just write lot 2 use it automatically pick then once this is finished just write 3 okay and we don't want to use the sequential non sequential means we want that system should pick the sequence wise number only so so we should not click on here just save this quickly we now we have created a checkbook lot check leaves which is started from 0400100 okay so now go back and we'll see the other thing so now uh, we will create the uh, we will make a payment to the 
vendor and we will uh, use that check number also so f b l 5 n sorry f b l 1 n and we will pick this vendor and we will check for open item okay so now we can see that we have a open item these many open item okay and we want to make a payment this is better we will create one new fresh invoice so f b 60 quickly and so one Here we have to ex select the expense account. Okay, no payment and not immediately. Sorry, immediately only we will select. Okay, so now we can see that this document number. Against this document number, we will make a payment. We have a T code for payment F-53. So let's go and we will make a payment quickly. And the bank account is our... This one. So make sure in the bank account... Uh, in the F1, in the FS00, your uh, cash flow should be checked. Our outstanding amount was 45,000 and the vendor is 301. You can go and you can check on the vendor management display. If you're not sure how much amount is there, okay, open item, execute. This is the fresh item just now I have posted. Where is that? 20 45 23 okay this is the one which we have posted so now deselect this just keep this one uh, today we have created this document number and here in the van vendor management here we can see that uh, we have created all not open item okay just execute and we have this document which is due okay due and again that we will make a payment so here uh, let's go back I had just write the 45,000 instead of 4,500 process process and then here payment so now we have uh, this document number payment clearing document again against this we will uh, create a check so prepare a manual check we have a t code fch5 and uh, here we have f t code is fch5 okay now this is the document number last clearing document number system is automatically picking and we want to use the check number and since we if we don't remember that again we can go back to the your check lot and we can see the checkbook number f c h i okay so i will pick from this series 400100 okay so now this is all the detail once we will enter this document number all the details will come Bangalore and this is important here you can see check digit this and yeah so now save this uh oh this one second let me come out from this screen okay now save this okay so now let's go here and just refresh it and here we can see that uh, that amount is moved in the clearing document side okay just now we made a clear 
and now in the document we can go and we can check the uh, uh, check digit okay check uh, information environment in the check information here you can see your check number and all the information related with the whatever we have mentioned it okay okay so now uh, here we uh, now let's suppose we have issued couple of check and we don't remember that you know uh, that how much uh, how many check are there and uh, the status of checks okay so we have a t code to check all this check register where we can see all the status of the check fc hn so let's go to the t code here is fc hn okay just enter your company code that's it and execute it here you can see that okay these are the one which i have created previously so just kindly ignore it on my id okay so yeah we will check the latest one which is starting from the four series check digit is 400 it's issued to the minakshi trader amount against 4500 okay so like this you can check your other also checkbook your check leave status also okay this one you can see the st uh, status and this one here you can see it's voided due to uh, no balances so these check are voided you can see stolen one is one is from no balance so just now we can see that here phone is a 400 and 100 is the issued against this okay and if something happened to this check we also void this check also okay okay so so the next uh, part of this in the continuation i will cover in the next video so in that we will uh, learn about the void check uh, how we can void the check without this clearing document reversal and then we can um, also i will explain you the void check and all okay thank you everyone for uh, watching this session i will explain in the next class further more in the continuation of this